Oh man, good morning, good morning. You can see we are up early, 8.30 in the morning. And I had about a hour and 20 minute drive to get up here. We are going into the Raleigh location at Copart today. And uh, because 95 is closed, to get across like the little bridge to cross over 95 when you get off the exit is closed we are uh, going the back way you get off like two exits up and come down these country roads so we'll be there in about eh, two minutes so there is a couple of different things I want to get in and get done here today um, and it depends on the order, uh, like how things go. I am definitely taking a look at vehicles that are coming up for auction uh, tomorrow morning. So I'm looking at ones that I am interested in purchasing myself. Uh, there's actually two. And I'm also going to look at some heavies. You guys have been asking for some more RVs. So before it gets raging hot, and I believe it's... Yeah, I know I'm out of gas. Um... Before it gets raging hot, it is 81 degrees early this morning, but it will get up to a high of about 94 today. Um, and it's gonna rain a lot with the rest of the week. So it is what it is, man. We wanna we wanna get as much stuff in as we can for you guys. So that's what I'll be doing uh, today. Like I said, I wanna look at a, at a few specific vehicles um, that I'm looking at bidding on. One of them, I think, is a very strong giveaway candidate and really lifts our game as far as monetary value for some of these cars that we've given away. Now, uh, I, I think we've done pretty good on the giveaway side here on the channel, uh, but I think we could do more, and I want to do more. Um, you know, specifically being, you know, all the cash giveaways with eDiag and major shout out to them and Audell and, and all the sponsors this last month i know we're well over um 1500 bucks i think we're at 1800 bucks in cash in a month in giveaways not to mention you know the multiple cars shout out again to restos and rebuilds i just actually mailed that title out so they will be able to sell that uh oldsmobile for you they're still out here doing all this damn construction man freaking weirdos and ridiculous all right, so we're here. We're here at Copart now. We're gonna go in here and uh, ooh, bang, bang, bump, bump. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> we're gonna get our ass in here, and I left my ID here like a dumbass. So hopefully it's still here. We're gonna go in here. I'm gonna suit up, and we're gonna go look at vehicles. So let's do it. All right, guys. Welcome back to another Copart walk around. And I, before I go look at that Malibu, which yes is on the list today, I want to look at this running and driving Mazda RX-8, I believe is what this is. I don't think this is a seven. I think this is an eight. I'm not a big Mazda guy, so I couldn't tell you. We, we do own a Mazda 6, but I don't ever drive it. Very rare on occasion. <clears throat> so this is the Mazda right here. Let's look and see. 132,000 miles. Was I right? Was it an RX-8? It is an RX-8. All right. So welcome on back, guys, to another Copart walk around. Yes, the masks are required now. It's crazy. The one, the one day, the one week that they stopped making us wear masks. At least when I'm out here out front, you know, with a bunch of people, I need to be wearing a mask. And to be honest with you, it's probably smart for you to do the same. But anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at this RX-8. Being that the hood is already popped, let's take a look first at the motor. All right, I see something hanging there. Renesis multi-side port. The motor doesn't look too terrible. Now, I know some people are going to say, look at all that mud. That's not mud. That's like fiberglass or something. There is dirt on it, though, which is a little concerning. But this is listed as a run and drive. Now, the paint on this is not great on the hood. You probably can see it. I don't know if it's really showing up in pictures. There's, oh, you're kidding me, right? 
So how do you get in the car? Don't tell me I gotta climb my ass. Oh. Do 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 do. Wow. Looks like I gotta climb my big ass in over here. Look at the mud stain on the seat where somebody already had to slide over. <laughs> All right. Let me see. Oh wow. This does smell like a flood car. No loss type listed though. The interior does not look bad. I want to see if it even has power before we waste our time with it. No. Oh man, excuse me. Yeah. I need my, my dude, the bionic scoop in the comments with his Yoda voice. But Dusty is strong with this one. Man, the Bedusi and that boy. Woo! I'm sorry, I can't do it. Mm. Well, there's the first car of the day. Mazda RX-8. And for you carnage freaks, say it with me. Smashed. <laughs> Somebody how you roll a how you roll a Honda Accord, bro? I just just how? You must have been like, I don't know, man. Woo! All right, which brings us to this Chevy Malibu. I'm very interested in it. We're also going to look at that Lexus, but we're very interested in this Chevy Malibu. Why? I know y'all are like, TK, don't do it. Because it's a giveaway car candidate. It's clean. It looks very similar to my gold one that we gave away to Silverback. Okay. The rear has a bumper. It's not in bad shape. It looks like an automatic win. It was at CarMax at some point. The interior, like the last one, is exceptionally clean. Look at that. And it does not smell, say it with me, like Bedusi. So we're going to put the key in it and hope. Look at this. It's got power. 181,000 miles. Give me good signs when we start. Look at that! Fired right up. Look at this. Now, <clears throat> I know a bunch of you guys would be like, TK, F that, don't do that. Why would you give away, you know, a car like this? Why would you do it? And I'm going to tell you. Check this out, man. This thing runs and drives. It ain't got a check engine light in the world, okay? These old Chevys, I think this has got the 3.1 in it. This was a good motor. I know some people will try to say, oh, TK, it's like the, the 3.6. Oh, look at this cup holder. See, that's actually pretty good design right there. You know? This thing is in good shape. Now, what I do need to check for is AC works. Look at that. I heard the compressor kick, but that doesn't mean shit because it does kick on in the Volkswagen. Let's see if... Uh, Let's see if it gets cold. Yup, look at that. Ice cold. Wow. And you can hear her running. But she's running good. Listen, listen. And she's got power for days, guys. I'm bidding, I'm bidding a shit ton on this car. And I'm telling you why. Brakes look good. Let's see gear. Is she going reverse? Yup. Yup. Listen, I'm gonna be bidding. I'm going to be bidding bananas on this because these cars... Now, while I, I will be honest, I do see a lot of these in the junkyards. And the, mostly it's because, you know, they've had issues, they've been blown up or blown a head gasket or whatever. That's just from people not taking care of them. Cars of these that have been maintained, and yes, I will pull a Carfax on this damn thing. Cars of these that have been maintained, these freaking things run forever, man. They run forever. So, and I'm sure this thing will ride and drive like a champ. But let's take a look at the engine. I know that's what you guys want to see. Let's take a look at it. Not even any squeaks, nothing from the belts. This thing right here, man. This thing right here could be an automatic win, man. The headlights are not fogged up. Basically, I wouldn't have to do shit to this car. Why is the, uh... 
Uh oh. Let me find out. That I screwed up something here and didn't. There we go. <laughs> oh, this has got a different motor. This is a different engine. This must be newer. What year is this? Oh, this is a 2004. I think the one we gave away was a 01. This has a 2.2 Ecotech. I was wrong. Damn, the other one had a, what, a 3.1 in it? Maybe the 2.2 is a good motor. I don't know. Comment below. Let me know. I, I, I'm wrong. I, I'm mistaken. Wow. The battery was done in 8 of 18. Less than two years old. The AC lines look kind of fresh back there. I can't really see the belt because she's spinning to see if she's cracked, but the none of the belt, none of the pulleys seem to be vibrating or jumping. This thing looks like it's in really good shape. That motor mount is really new. Somebody took care of this, man. And you know what, though? Because it's an 04 and because of the mileage on it, if somebody scuffed the bumper, which is what you're seeing up here on the front, on the front here, that right there is enough for an insurance company to total this out right there alone man i love the old cable throttles <laughs> this right here is kind of cool man all right i think we're definitely gonna have to bid on this one let's take a look at the trunk damn she runs good man good tires good matching douglas's i'm sure those are bobo tires but they're performance according <laughs> according to the tires Douglas performance look at that look a lot of these trunks don't even open themselves like that anymore look at this one the trunk looks clean I could fit like three or four people back here <laughs> yeah let me stop all right let's just take a look look spare is in there probably never used this has probably never been opened I don't this I'm interested man and I know some of y'all say why but this would make a great giveaway car for somebody you know it just would it just would and a little swipe like this on the bumper a little thing is enough for an insurance company to total this out um, when they look at the value of the car they'd rather total it out than pay an insurance company than pay a, a body shop you know 600 bucks or 800 bucks or whatever it is to fix it look she's getting the temperature that was the other thing i wanted to see because the three what is it the three ones oh look goes the corvette the three point ones will overheat on your ass you know what i'm saying if they got a bad head gasket and you won't see it right away but this one is running just fine you know 2.2 ecotech i wonder if that's a quick little motor you guys are gonna have to let me know in the comments but anyways there you have it uh let me know what you guys think about this malibu in the comments below i definitely want it i think this will make a hell of a giveaway car for somebody and you guys can let me know if you guys think the same in the comments below let me put this hood down 2.2 ecotech i'm surprised all right she's all buttoned up and we go on to the next one okay shout out to the honda squad now you guys have said i'm not covering enough hondas this is from my people over at USAA. They are a sponsor here on the channel. Love them, by the way. Love USAA. We're going to take a look at this Honda Ridgeline. If it doesn't smell too much like Bedussi, let's hope it don't. All right. Got a seat cover on it. Okay. Look, all the front end parts are right there in the, in the back seat. That's a win. I have a feeling this thing's dead as a doornail, though. I don't know what this key goes to. I'm pretty sure it's not a Honda though. Maybe it is. Huh. Yeah, I'm guessing. Yeah, she's dead. Damn, man. I was interested in looking at this one. It looks like it comes with some kind of, oh. Uh, as I say, it comes with some box with some kind of parts in it, but nope. 
this thing is kind of uh, ragged out for real. Hmm. It says it is a run and drive. That's what it says. It is a little damaged in the front. 133,000 miles. It does have a nice backflip bed cover on it. It is a four-wheel drive ridge line. I like it. It's got a Borla exhaust stop plan. Stop it. Stop it right now. <laughs> Yo, y'all need to stop, man. Stop. Okay, you guys putting on, let me just, for the general public, for you guys putting on Borla and MBRP and all these other exhausts on these four-cylinder cars and some of these six-cylinder cars that really should be, you know, that are really as powerful as a four-cylinder, it's like dudes trying to rock a Magnum condom, and you know damn well you can't fit one, all right? So, so, so stop. What? <laughs> if you want to sound like you're that dude, get a V8. This right here is killing me, man. A Borla exhaust. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, it never... Listen, the, the amount of ricing out I see on, on cars amazes me. You know, and don't get it twisted. It doesn't... It, you know, V8s ain't safe either, all right? V8s ain't safe either. <laughs> Borla Now Maybe he works for Borla exhaust. I don't know. I guess that would be okay But if you have a Borla exhaust on this Honda Ridgeline <laughs> Oof <coughs> Oh, sorry. I just ran into a I Can hold the camera over there for y'all. Oof decomposing trash mm. Mm. And this Tahoe has seen better days I kind of like these rims, though. Look at these rims. What are they called? All Country Iron Mans, huh? Huh. I'm about to put tires on the Tahoe soon. I was tempted to change the rims, but I think I'm going to keep my stock rims and just put fatter tires on deck. What are these? Yeah. Those are 18s, too, so I could put a fatter tire on the truck, and it would just make it look more meaty without having me put to put 20s on it. All right, let's look at the damage on this Tahoe. Eh, yeah, I can see why it's totaled. Outside of the year, there's the core support all busted. That's the one thing this GoPro does do. It does get in here nice and shows you a lot of stuff. Look at the damage down here, all up in there. Yeah, could it be fixed? Maybe. Is it worth it? Hell no. Well, on to the next one. All right, next, I'm calling fake news on this one. This is a Jeep Liberty, all right, which we all know has a garbage motor. And for the most part, these trucks are pieces. I don't even want to call them trucks. They're pieces of crap, okay? Just facts. This says it has, oh, wow, it smells like ass over here. Uh, 287,000 miles on it. That's fake news. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If you guys can find some more online, find me some used ones and tag me them either on Instagram at TK's Garage or drop them in the comment section down below if you find some, some Jeep Liberties with two, almost 300,000 miles on it because I don't believe that at all. I, like, you know how some people will alter the mileage to try to make them look lower? <laughs> I think someone altered the mileage to make this look reliable. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, <clears throat> auction day, for you guys that didn't know, is actually tomorrow. And one of those cars that is coming up is this. Actually, when you guys see this video, the auction will already be over. So we'll know if I won that or not. That actually showed up in the last Copart walk around. So, anywho's, let's keep it moving and See if they've added anything to the list that's coming up this week. And they did. Look at this Ford Fusion. Now, I know you guys are saying why, but I'll tell you why. I'm actively looking for another vehicle 
uh, that is a nicer vehicle as a giveaway vehicle. This one has nitrogen in the tires, but it's flat back here, okay? 71,000 miles, walking through the uh, slush and slime with the Timbos on. Fusion Titanium, it is a titanium. Now, why is it here? Let's see if I can get over here. Oh, wow, we're really sinking over here. <laughs> do, 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 do. Wow, sink, sink, sink. All right, we're in there. That's why it's here. Hit on the rear. You can see the damage here. Could this fender, this rear quarter be pulled out? Maybe. You could probably body fill it. Um, but it's all dependent on like if you'd ever be able to make it right where this door is right. And you know what though? You might, you might be able to get away with it because it does close pretty good. You probably could fix that actually. Now, here's the thing. You can get a Ford Titanium at auction uh, for not that much, all right? Uh, with this kind of miles on it, you could get a fully loaded Fusion, even a Fusion Hybrid Titanium for six grand maybe, maybe six grand. Let's see if she's got power. Does she got any juice? Doesn't look like it. Looks like she is super dead. Yep, oh well. Well, we can take a look at the interior. And the interior looks mint, right? It doesn't smell like Bedussi in here. I see they got some tobacco in there. Somebody has some backwoods off in here. All right. Everything else in here looks good. All right, panoramic sunroof, the whole nine. Uh, yeah, this does not look bad. I'll add it to my watch list. It is listed as a run and drive. I don't think anything happened to the drivetrain because it got hit in the rear quarter. So, yeah, this is one for the list. All right. Well, we just have to navigate this mud, guys. Oof. Which I'm doing right now. One thing I do like about it when the weather is real crappy out here and it's real muddy, I don't have to deal with going behind a bunch of people looking at vehicles I want to look at. Now, this one is a no start and this is one of the BMWs, whether it's new, used, salvage, whatever, that I would recommend that you never, ever, ever, ever buy. The GT BMWs uh, are probably one of the worst reliable, like, you know, BMW gets a bad rap. The GT BMW is just hot effing garbage, okay? Just trash, it's garbage. Um, that said, it does not mean I wouldn't buy it if it was like dirt cheap. This is a 12, 535i GT. It's like BMW's half-assed attempt to make a crossover with this car. Yeah, the, oh, wait a minute. Okay, the windows aren't going up and down automatically. All right. So she's dead. Loss type is normal wear. Premier remarketing, huh? Normal wear. Now, when I see a vehicle come to Copart like this and it's normal wear, usually there's something severely wrong with it. These cars were famous for having bad trannies. Um... Yeah, that's super dead. Oh, man. They're just a really bad, bad deal all the way around. And look, it came from another used car dealer in Rock Hill, South Carolina. So, automatically red flags all the way across the board. But, you know, if this car went for, I don't know, say, thousand bucks, two thousand bucks, I'd probably buy it. And, you know, make sure I made it. Maybe we destroy it. You know, for 2000 bucks, the content I could get out of this by just, you know, destroying the car with bats, you know, and all kinds of other stuff. I think that, let me know if you, if you want to see me destroy this car in the comments below. Maybe I need to do that. Maybe that's something we should do. You know, just as a BMW enthusiast, help out the rest of the general public by destroying this car. Let me know if we should buy it and then just, just destroy it. Just destroy it. Let me know in the comments below. 
Next on my list, we have this 2015 GMC Yukon XL, Jeep edition. And I, I say Jeep edition because it's missing the whole door. Like, I, got, I get that it got hit right here, but it's missing the whole door. Like, what the F? Now the interior is just, you could clean it. I don't have a doubt that you probably could clean this thing up, but it would need some kind of heavy detail for sure. Definitely. Like, there's not going to be any, like, oh, I'm just going to jump in this and drive this home. Nah, no. That's not going to happen. And with the door missing, you can guarantee that the battery is completely dead. But you can see the dust and mold. Oof, oof, oof. Excuse me. Mm, mm, mm. Nope. Not today. Mm-mm. Say it with me. Toasty. <laughs> Next, we have a white Mamba. This doesn't actually look bad on this side. It's an LTZ, so it's fully loaded. The rear quarter doesn't look bad back here, okay? The crash bar, the rear bumper doesn't look bad back here. I can see where the, uh, your tailgate, your hatch, gate, whatever the hell they want to call this, your lift gate needs to be replaced. Tail light needs to be replaced. Uh, down here, I see some of this down here, this crumple stuff, but I don't care. I just literally put the bumper cover over that. I see the little marks that they're talking about here, but they're not horrible. I would just, if I had to, a body fill it and call it a day. This door, I'd probably just replace. Now I see this little ding right here and someone will say that's why it's totaled man. It's 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 shot forever. No, I don't I, no, no. No. Not true. All right. She's got power. 96,000 miles on the clock. Nice leather seats. Bose sound system. She's a lot like the Mamba, got to be honest. It's got a sunroof. push button instead of a key fire right up AC came right on now here's the thing the rear bumper is right here all of it is here in the truck you wouldn't reuse this bumper though but all of these sensors and lights and other crap that's in here yeah you would if you could now the spare back there is all bent to s like look at it they ran over something hard so now I'm like hmm I wonder if there's damage to the uh, suspension too. We see the airbag thing went off and curtain airbags on the seats did pop. And this is dirty. You can see like somebody, I don't know if this was a company truck or a dirt, you know, a construction truck, but you can see the dirt around these buttons. You have somebody that just had really grimy, look at this, they got air conditioned seats. They don't work. The fuse is blown. All right. Good to know. So those don't work. I don't have this. Mine's just open. So I don't have this cool little flippy, flappy thing. Wireless charger thing on deck. This one's not bad. I like that it has the sunroof. Let's see if it opens. Power lift gate switch. Oh. So they have a lift gate button. Okay. Let's check the uh, sunroof. Seems to work just fine. Makes me want to have a sunroof in mine. For real. It really does. It really makes me want a sunroof. I ain't playing. Oh. Now, I don't know what this has. If this has the 6.2... Or the 5.3, she feels like she's got power. The oil pressure on this thing looks right, 40, right where it should be. Everything looks good on this thing, man, you know? 96,000 miles on it. It's about double what I got in the Mamba, right? Or triple, where am I at, 37? All the tires are low, look at that. 28, 28, 29, 30. See, this thing has the speed limit, 
Because it's got more sensors and stuff in it. It can read the signs and shit. Alright, I see you. Yeah, this looks nice. I like it. I like the interior. You know, I've, I've been looking for one of these that I could swap. It is a two-wheel drive, too. There's no four-wheel over here. I've been looking for one of these I could swap, you know, swap a lot of the stuff that I want. And, um, yeah, I guess we'll have to see, huh? This thing's probably going to go for a ton of money in its current condition. Somebody's going to want it. All right. Let's take a look at the motor. I'll be surprised, though. You know what? Yeah, people have been overpaying for some cars recently, but then I've seen cars go so cheap that shouldn't go that cheap that it mystifies me, man. You know, where you're just like, how? How did that happen, you know? All right. This looks like the 5.3. Ethanol gas. Yeah, okay, so this has just got the uh, the sensor on the fuel line to let you know that you can run ethanol. Battery was replaced in 10 of 19. She looks good. And it's a 16, so... Not bad at all, man. Not bad at all. It'll be something I'll add to the watch list. Let me know what you guys think. All right, sticking with the truck theme, look at this. We got a GMC Sierra 4x4 Texas Edition with only 25,000 miles on the clock. Look at this. It's offered by my favorite insurance company, USAA. They are a sponsor again on this channel. I don't know why I keep saying it, but I, have to, I guess I have, I'm supposed to disclose that. Nice little bed cover. Why is it here? Looks like it got hit in the rear right there in fact and i'm willing to bet the bed bumped the cab or something and that's why they totaled it huh not at all huh so a little dent in the rear okay it did buckle the bed maybe they're thinking the bed is too much money and that's why they totaled it i don't even know if i'd fix that i'd probably clean this and drive it just the way it is 25,000 miles on the clock. It was at Power Swain Chevrolet. They are the dealership that's actually, that actually did the... Uh, you guys haven't seen that video yet, but they did the body work on my Tahoe to fix my front clips. Now, it does smell like sweaty-ass man in this truck. But... She's got power. She runs. But does see out the vents, man. Y'all rank. I do like these tow mirrors. Now, these are the kind of tow mirrors I was thinking about putting on the Tahoe and really wanted your guys' opinion on it, see what you guys thought, whether or not that would uh, be a cool mod or something that you guys would want to see or not. Nah. But, uh, yeah, man. Let's see if this AC kicks on. Like, the truck is so new, it still has, look at this, plastic on, on stuff like this. You know what I'm saying? Plastic on the screen. Like a lot of stuff they haven't even messed with. Steering assist is reduced. Maybe it, oh, maybe the stability track broke. That that could be why. Yeah. Maybe the rear end got messed up. Possible. Let's see if she goes into gear. Yeah. Seems to move. So I don't know. I don't know at all, man. Oh, air-conditioned seats. Man, you can't beat this, man. And look, I, I, I'm rocking with the channels. You got Octane on deck, Hair Nation, Turbo, and Rock the Bells. I, look, I, I, I'm liking everything about this truck. I'm liking everything about this truck. Oh, man, it's been here since May of 20. Loss type is unknown, though. Hmm. Let's see if the uh, wireless charging pad works. Do 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 do. Hold on, let me. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh oh. Yep, there it is. It's charging. Woohoo! That's why I want one of those in the truck because I literally set my phone right there. I love that. That you have the wireless charger right there in the center console. That's just awesome. You got these little clips right here where you can have tablets or phones or other stuff too, which I kind of like. I like this little rubber thing right here. Like being able to be like this and have your phone down there so you can just briefly look if you get a message or a notification. That's kind of cool. I like this truck overall, man. I think with the interior, I really like that, right? I like these seats. I like this truck in general. I could see, uh, yeah. Yeah, man. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. What do you guys think about this GMC Sierra? Let's see what the four-wheel drive enacts if I put it into four-wheel drive. Shift to neutral. All right, four low. Traction control off. Put it in drive. Yep. Yeah. Four high. Alright, let's see if... Yep, alright, it works. Yeah. This is not bad. I like this where you can put it in too high all the time, or you can put it in auto and it will decide when to turn the four-wheel drive on. You got the trailer brakes. I mean, this is... This is a nice truck, man. I'm definitely going to add it to the watch list. You guys can let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And today at the China Grove location, we actually have an auction starting in about 30 minutes. So I got to get the rest of my walk around done for you guys today so I can be here on this. Because uh, there's a couple vehicles I said, I mean, people think that some of these vehicles are outrageously expensive. But this one's starting at 225 and you'll be surprised. You might bid once. It goes to 250 and nobody bids again. Um, you know, is it a pain for you to get, uh, you know, a uh, salvage title redone in North Carolina? Sometimes, yeah, but not always, man. And these are all the auctions today. We got Jacksonville. And I'll just pop in. For somebody that may have never watched any of my videos before, I'll give you a quick idea china grove china grove china grove those aren't popping up for a little bit for another 30 minutes so let me look back here and see if there's any that are running right now it looks like they're all 10 a.m eastern time yeah yep so it looks like i got 30 minutes but we'll go through and for you guys that want to see some of that maybe i'll include some of that in today's video when we close out on the way out of here so guys, let me know what you guys think about this thing in the comments below. I'm, like I said, I'm highly interested in this GMC Sierra. You know, with, I mean, the damage is so light, it's not even funny. What has this got, the 5.3 in it? No, this has got the big boy. This one's got the 6.2 on deck. I like it already. See, what's crazy is the 6.2 and the 5.3 like when you open the engine compartment they look exactly the same you really like for somebody that had no idea and they just looked they wouldn't be able to be like yeah that's a five three or that's a do 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 you know what i'm saying i think even the belt design and stuff here is the same now this one has a different belt for the air conditioning compressor though huh well let me know what you guys think in the comments i'm highly interested in this gmc truck and i think it would be this would be a great daily driver for me. Just a 4x4, just a truck. I'm kind of mad. Like, I love the Tahoe, and I know if we give this thing away that somebody's going to enjoy it. And I think maybe that's why I'm trying to give it away. Uh, which, by the way, two and a half weeks remaining on the giveaway on the Tahoe. If any of those channels meets those benchmarks, we're giving away a $50,000 truck. Um, and if not, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Maybe I'll run it through Copart. That would be an interesting video, right? Maybe I'll... Uh, I don't know. We'll, f we'll figure out what we're going to do with it if it doesn't get given away. So. Well, there you have it. Oh, somebody's picking up. Hey. All right, guys. Well, let me guys know what you guys think about this. I, I would make this my daily driver. For real.
All right, guys, I'm about to have to switch batteries. Battery is down to 3%. Though, because it's only 80 degrees out today, the camera has not overheated. So maybe I'll have to get my ass up early in the morning for these videos moving forward, huh? All right, let's see if we see anything else that interests me out here today. I've, I've gone through my list of what I want to see for the auction. And now we're just grabbing content. Gotta love that, right? <sighs> hey, what's this, uh, Hyundai? Little Hyundai here with 13,000 miles on it. Destroyed. Wonder what's up with this. Battery's gonna die here any second, guys. We got to switch the batteries anyway. Runs and drives, USA is offering it. Oh. Look at that crash bar. Right into the condenser. The front is busted up. Kind of cool how everybody's trying to look like a Lamborghini Urus right now. Ooh, say it with me. Damn, smashed. It's a Kona, Hyundai Kona. Yeah, I can see the damage. I see why you totaled. Let's see if she runs. Oh, oh. so I just got into this one, guys. And uh, we got the battery swap. We're going to try try to start this one. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm. It just stinks in here, man. Oof. This is like... Oh, I don't even want to... Uh, it's so nasty. This is worse than Bedussi, man. This is like the chick that you thought was really bad. And then she was really bad, but not really bad in a good way. Oh. Oh, what a mask on and Vicks. I can smell that, man. It's like fish in here. Oh, what a shame. The car only has to... Oh, hold on. Oh. Breathe. <laughs> the car only has 300... 344 miles on it. That's all it's got. 344 miles. Oh. God, it's rank. AC does not work. Uh, and that's probably because that can... Ooh, that condenser is messed up. All right. I know why it's old now. Mm. Mm. Some BS, man. Whew, I'm good. I'm straight. Well, I guess this one went out like a champ. This BMW 525i is here with the Strata rims. Three of them anyway. The good thing is if you really needed to pull a motor, it doesn't look like the block on this is busted. You know, you probably could pull this motor right out because everything else is gone. This thing is just uh, finished, literally. Whew. Oof, bad, man. Let me know what you guys think about that. Man. All right, guys. I already know. I already know that y'all are going to give me shit. Y'all are going to say, why are you doing this, TK? Don't do this to yourself. It's a Range Rover. It's supercharged. The suspension's already hammered. Why would you do this to yourself? Well, I mean, we need some content. We need a vehicle that we could just put a bunch of content on with you know Ooh, that suspension does look like it's bent out it does look that way what is this this is a what year is it oh six Two thousand six. Well, I don't know. Sorry, my attention got grabbed over there for a second, guys. It is listed as a runner. I'll take a look at it. I bet you it's a dead dead as a doornail though. 
At least it smells nice in here. Yeah, she's dead. One of these days, we'll get a jump pack. Oh, we'll get jump pack use out here, but right now, it's not allowed. Well, oh well, there's that. Something after my own heart, probably one of my favorite cars, and it's got the good motor too, the 3.0 inline six. I love these chrome rims on it. BMW rims on deck. This thing looks really, really, really nice. Really, really, really nice. Flat tire in the front. And I can see like the little bit of a bang in the front there is probably why it got totaled. But check out the interior. It's worn. Oh, it's a manual. Oh, good night. Yeah, I'll overpay for this all day. It's a six speed manual. Oh, tell me you got some power. Oh, damn. All right, I need to add this to my list right now. This one right here, hell, hell to the yes, yes, yes. Says it got rear ended, that's the lost type. Go to my scan, scan tool. Come on, there we go. Boom, got it. All right. Let's see if we win this one. Uh, Y'all can take note of the, of the lot number. I bet you I do. I'll overpay for this. Bet your ass on that I will. Six-speed manual, you don't see those in the X5 at all. Woo! All right, guys. Let's see if we see anything else before we make the trip out. Da, 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 da. Uh, that infinity seen better days. Smashed right in the door. You never know what you'll run into out here though, you know? Like this Honda Ridgeline. I don't know. You know what though? I'm going to be honest. I like the older body style. I really don't like this body style on the Honda Ridgeline. Maybe that's just me. But I'm really not a fan. Like I'm, I'm not. I don't really like the Honda, this Honda Ridgeline's body, body style. Nice bed cover. Don't know why it's here. Lost type is a front end hit. Interesting. I'm not seeing anything. Okay. Maybe it went under the front end. That could happen too, you know. Oh yeah. They got the whole thing taken apart in here. They were probably trying to find out what the hell. Something went bad. They ran over something for sure. Look, they got the whole thing taken apart. No power in here either. Yeah. Good luck trying to sort that out. No, thank you. All right, guys. Look at this right here. An Audi A3 Premium. This is nice. 103,000 miles on the clock. This looks like uh, one that I've seen here previously but it had less miles. Did somebody buy this, wreck it, and run it back through? It is a TDI, which makes it a diesel. This looks really friggin' familiar, man. I'm gonna have to go look back in the archive and see if I find this car. I bet you somebody bought it and then claimed it again, I'm guessing. Yeah, because it just got here in June, it just got here June 19th. So, man, let's look and see how she is. She's listed as a run and drive. <clears throat> Key ignition, I guess, right? Yep.
Fire right up. It's a diesel. Yeah, I could do something with this. I could definitely do something with this. Who the AC came right on to? That's a W. Oh boy. The interior looks nice. Got the rubber mats. This this is not bad. This is not bad at all. Huh? Huh? Well, I gotta be honest, I am pretty impressed by what I've seen just from this. I mean, this thing is kind of nice for real. Like, just the, this reminds me a lot of the A4. Um, but this being a diesel, let me see if I can turn this down so you guys can hear this. Hold on. How about, there's got to be a, there we go. Listen to this diesel spool up. It, it's got a rev limiter on it, but it's got power for days, man. This thing would be a little monster, man. And look at this. It's, a, it's got less than three quarters of a tank. I bet you this thing goes all of 550 or 600 miles on a tank of diesel. This is pre the Volkswagen scandal. And all that other crap. You know, this car, man, this is nice. And that and that damage wouldn't scare me on the outside at all. I mean, it just wouldn't. Let's go look at it. I mean, could I? would I even fix it? Or would I just make this just like a commuter car? Hey, what's up, Stance Nation? Um, you know, I probably would fix it. Because... You know, this is literally pulling this out and then getting a body guy to body fill this. I wouldn't, you know, like this back here, uh, hammer that, body fill it. And it's an S-line, man. Body fill it. Call it a day. You know, this door, would I replace it? Honestly, probably not. Body fill it, you know, in the spots where it needs it. You know, this fender, yeah, I'd probably have to replace that fender. But so what? Replace the fender, body fill these doors, that rear quarter, pull that out, body fill that, respray it, new fender, a headlight. I can reuse that bumper all day. Look at this. Just that little scrape right there. I can reuse that bumper all day. So I'm looking at a fender. I probably can even reuse that S-line badge. So I'm looking at a fender, a headlight. That's a cheap headlight too. Headlight, fender, body fill. You know, if this car went for the right money, like I tell you right now, if this car was to go for sub four grand, I'm buying it. All day, I'll buy it. Because it's it's just like, you just don't see these. You don't, you're not going to see these diesels like this in America anymore. The only thing that would make this better if it was a manual. That's the only thing that would make this better. Anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments. All right. Say it with me, you carnage freaks. Smashed. All right. Oh, I wanted to see this BMW, and now as I'm, as I'm approaching, I'm like, nah. <laughs> now I'm like, nah, I'm good. Nah. Yeah, that's a negative. All right. And shout out to the Toasty Squad. Say it with me. Toasty, 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 Toasty. I'm toasty. gonna have to drop so many Toasty drops on this part of the video. Toasty. toasty. Y'all gonna be like, damn, y'all killed my eardrums. Toasty. Toasty. Go. All right. Let's see if we find anything else that's worth it while we're down this end. We've looked at that Lexus before rear end hit. Eh. I know you're going to be like, TK is looking for a BMW. <laughs> <laughs>
I can't, well, what can I say? You roll with what you know, you know? You gotta do what you know. And these are one car I do know. Look at this one, three series. Runs and drives. Some front end damage, I see. See if the motor is all taken apart. Uh oh. It needs to be pulled again. 81,000 miles. She got any power? Yep. Uh oh. We got lottery tickets on deck. Did any of these win? If they won, let me know in the comments. We'll give all this money away. <laughs> hey, she fired up though. <laughs> she runs like shit. Wow. Runs like dog shit. And this is a 14 328i, huh? This is the nice one. Oh, stall. Just stall. Give me some good content. Just die. Stop fighting it. Just give in. <laughs> All right, we're going to shut her down. Clearly, he's either got a belt. Yeah, a belt missing or the fan or something is busted from the front end clip. Huh. But it is listed as a run and drive. We're going to leave these lottery tickets right here. Maybe somebody won the lottery. I don't know. Hmm. Sad. Because this car is in really good shape. Wish I could get that open. Let's try to pull it a second time and see if it'll release. There we go. Let's take a look in the engine compartment and see what all that fuss is about. Hmm. I'm not seeing it. I think maybe that was that the turbo that was making that noise. I don't see the fan touching anything. She might just really have a bad motor. Huh? Huh? Well, it is a it is a BMW. It did get hit in the front. Wouldn't surprise me. Maybe the oil pan got hit. But it would have gave me a low oil notification. It wouldn't let the car start. So who knows? There it is. Next. Hmm. What do we have here? Is this a is this a C-Class station wagon? Huh. Interesting. This is different. This is not something you see every day. But I have a feeling it's going to be worthless when we get up here to the front. Yep. And yeah. Smashed. Got a nice little ML back here. ML320. I know when we get right here, yeah, we got reverse steering, smashed, not worth it. All right. I always like these avalanches, man. I was, I'm all, I've always been a fan. I don't know why they didn't keep making it. I thought it was a pretty cool vehicle myself, pretty cool truck. This is an SS. Did they make an SS avalanche? Let me know in the comments. Is that real? Look at the back end. It's all busted. It's just the bed. I, I mean, that could be fixed. Granted, the bed is also part of the interior, but there's 203,000 miles. And she's probably dead because I see the... Got the tow brake. I mean, your trailer brake there. I don't see no lights coming on. She's dead, dead, huh? No, she's not. Motown every hour. Look for Mary Will. 
aftermarket radio on deck. AC seems to work out the box. I mean, this thing fired right up to AC. Wow. Does have a check engine light. Oil pressure looks amazing. No valve issues. She's a little dirty. Look, it might be a legit thing. Look at this Avalanche SS on the damn uh, headrest. Maybe. I mean, that's nasty. This thing could use a good cleaning. It's got a sunroof. I like this. I like this a lot. Four-wheel drive. would find out what the check engine light's for. Fix that. 203,000 miles, though. Yeah, I mean, I get it. I can see why people would be like, why would you do that, TK? That'd be a waste of money, dude. You know, I get it. I hear you. Damn. I can see it, man. Door hinge, which is typical on these, the Tahoes, the Suburbans, all that. They always screw up. See how this fan works. Wow, this AC is like, when I tell you ice cold, like this is the coldest AC I've seen in a vehicle today. Hands down. Like this this AC is, this is a, this is a freezy nuts AC. Man. Look at this. Does this have... It does. It's got lane departure. Look, fuel used. 900, 9,999 gallons. <laughs> Trans temp. V8 mo. Oh, it's got that stupid shit. It's a 07. This is the first year for that, too, man. I was hoping this would not have that crap. But maybe somebody disabled it. Now, let's check the trans. Does she go on the reverse? Oh, she has a backup camera, too. Yep. What about drive? Yep. Reverse was a little weak, though. I gotta be honest. No, nah, she moves. This is not bad. I'm definitely adding this to the watch list. For sure. I like this. <sighs> Let me scan this thing in. So I have it. Scan. Oh, looks like I gotta key this one in. So I'll do that. Sometimes the scan thing doesn't work if there's a bubble or other things on the sticker it just doesn't work. 188. Uh, Alright. Yep, the primary damage is rear ends. That's what it says. You can see it right there. She looks nice in the front too. You know, fix that little piece of plastic down there on the bottom. Give her a nice bath, clean her up. I'd pull that out. This is worth it to me. I know someone say, yeah, 200,000 miles though. That's crazy. Yeah, that, I know that also means that this truck is going to go fairly cheap. Its retail value is only six grand or whatever, but it's different. I like that it's an SS. I mean, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. And it looks like somebody painted this stuff to color match the truck, which is awesome. Because that plastic stuff does fade and looks like crap. So, you know, the running boards look nice with the lights. I, I like this, man. I like this. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. All right, guys, which is going to bring us over here to the bikes. Let's see if there's any new bikes here this week before we get out of here for the day. Bike, 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 the bikes. This one looks freshly new. I don't remember this one. And it's been laid down. Hmm. Does it have power? Ooh, it does. Do I want to get swamp pass though? Not really. But, oh wow, look at the throttle. Broke from falling. 
All right. Is it in neutral? Hell no. Yeah, it is in neutral according to this. All right. So she's in neutral according to this. Let me sit y'all down here for a second so y'all can see this thing start. Ugh. Because I don't want to climb over it. Oh, wow. The handlebars are loose, huh? Did you see that? See how they're coming down? You got probably can't see it. Brake and clutch. Brake, clutch. Brake. runs you guys got to see it here she runs and she does not look bad that's probably one of the best sounding bikes i've seen here huh damn she sound good man made me want to ride this thing man let me <laughs> you can see it's been laid down look all of this is all scraped up i just hope the rider made it out all right Forks don't look bad, though. I bet you you could just get on this thing and ride it. I bet you it's straight. You could just clean it up. You know, you might have to body fill this and, and paint the tank. And then just ride it, man. You know, I'd just ride the crap out of that. That's nice. I got to admit, that's kind of nice. Oh, we got a Suzuki. This is 600. We got any juice, though? Let me find out. No, because somebody left it to the on position. Dicks. All right. We got a, what is this? This is another Harley Davidson. This is new. Green. Gas tank all chewed up on this side as it was laid down. Heritage soft tail. Oof. The headlights busted. Oh, did I turn that? Wait a minute. Let me make sure I cut that ignition off. I'm not the asshole that leaves a bike on. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to do that. Here we go. Yeah, I did off see oh wow say it with me toasty jesus all right let's see if uh see if this harley over here runs ignition not a damn thing you're dead huh all right i see you one thing i do like about bikes though if you get one and it's dead you can pretty much push start most of these damn things Here's a Jixxer 600. We got any juice? No, because somebody keeps leaving the bikes on. Uh, another Jixxer. Did y'all leave this one on? Tell me no. No, you didn't, but this one's dead. Damn. I would love to get a Jixxer that runs. I would love to give y'all one of those because... That's my jam right there, man. Jixers are my jam. I'm not really a fan of the R6. Another Harley. That one's different, okay. I don't see, oh, this one's missing a bunch. You've got wires hanging, it's been cut. Here's a Cowie. What's that, a 1200? Yeah, XR, ZX12. Yeah, ZX12. Let me guess. You're probably dead too, right? Nope. You got power. Say less. Let's go. You got my interest, girl. Let's go. This is my jam right here, guys. Oh, no. The shifter's broken. Shit. Well, doesn't that suck? I hope the clutch ain't broken, or we're going for a ride. All right, let me sit y'all right here. Let's see if this big girl will start. Man, please don't go flying. It's the only thing I can hope for. 
All right, clutch. Where's my other brake on this one? Back here. Crotch rocket, a little bit different than a, than a cruiser, guys. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. Come on. Come on. You're right there. She's right there. You hear it? She wanted to fire up. She wanted to fire up. Come on, girl. I know you can do it. Yeah, these forks are bent. Come on, girl. Come on. Oh, come on. One time for daddy. Come on. Come on. That might be it. I tried. God, I love the way this thing feels under me, man. Yeah, I, I figured I'd give it one last shot. Come on, girl. You know you are right there. You know you want to fire up. See, look. Look where the steering... Look at the, look at the handlebars with the forks straight. <laughs> like, it's bent. Yeah, she's dead, dead, dead. That's not gonna work. Oh well, I tried. God, this makes me want another Busa. It does, but I know better, I know better. I don't wanna kill myself on a Busa though, you know? Woo, look at this big beauty right here. This the Punisher bike? Tell me you got power. Oh, it's over with. Oh, <laughs> oh it's over with, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold the, hold the phone, let me, let me put y'all right here. Let's see if it'll let, let, let y'all sit here. Let me make sure the view is good. Can y'all see what's going on? Yeah, good enough, all right. Uh oh. She might be dead. Yep, the voltage is too low. I can see it. She's turning up on over here, but she's not firing up. Oh well, it was a nice try. That would have been a nice a nice bike to fire up right there, boy. She looks mean, doesn't she? Oh, all right, let's see what else we got. A Honda Shadow. I don't think you guys really care about a Honda Shadow, but we'll look at it. Woo! Man. That bike's folded up right there. Ooh, what is that? This is a Yamaha? Say less. Let me find out the key has rusted shut. Okay, so hold on. Hold on, guys. I got to sit you guys down for a second. Oh, she got power. No, I want to... There we go. Let's try to turn that off. So it's got a loud-ass radio on it. All right. You guys think she'll fire up? She's got one of the cooler... Uh... Oh, wow. <laughs> you know, you know, I tried to swing my leg over. It was not happening. All right. She is in neutral. Let me set you guys right here. Mmm. Of course, I don't want to sit. I uh, see if she fires up. Brakes. Says she's in neutral. All right. Come on. Oh, it wants to turn over. 21,000 miles on this is not bad. Come on, girl. One time right there i can hear the compression if it had just turned over that one time it'll fire up
Come on. Nope. She's too dead. Sad, too, because I was on board for sure. That's a Yamaha, but it was nice. Look at this Honda. That's all hammered to the ground. It's different. Does she got power? Hell no. All right. Different. Suzuki 1800, huh? Oh boy. Missing the keys though. Good old gold wing. I bet you this is dead. Yep. We're looking, we're looking to see if we find any other ones that are running, guys. It's not promising though, I ain't gonna lie to you. We've seen a lot of these other bikes that are out here. All right. Oh, another Harley Davidson here. She's got power. Let's see. This clutch is a little loose here on the pipe, so I might not be all the way in. Is this thing not in neutral? It said it was, now it said it's not. Why are you fucking with me like that? Now it's now it's supposedly in neutral. Alright, let's F you GoPro for overheating. Oh, she's dead. She won't start at all. Oh well. There's a nice try. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's about it for new bikes. We've seen everything down there. And I think we've been on here for well over an hour. I think we kind of killed it today on the Copart walk around, don't you guys think? If you guys enjoy these longer Copart walk arounds, let me know in the comments below. If you'd rather me condense them, bring them down to like 30 minutes. Also, let me know. Let me know what you guys think the best run time is in the comments below. I actually listen to you guys and we'll go from there. But guys, that's going to do it for today's Copart walk around. I want to thank you guys very much for tuning in. I want to thank you guys very much for the support and all the love. Um, stay tuned. Lots and lots and lots of more content is coming very, very, very soon. We actually are here today for a pickup for a win. Um, and let me see if they got it out from here yet. Yep, I think they did. So you guys will probably get to see that in the next video. I just want to say thank you guys very much for tuning in. Uh, shout out to all y'all. All right, guys, now that does it for today's Copart walk around. Uh, major F you to, uh, <laughs> to this BS uh, GoPro, constantly overheating. Uh, I'm just over that, man. I think I might have to switch to a DSLR and put it on a stick. I, I don't want to do that because I like how smooth the GoPro is, but I can't keep dealing with this thing overheating, man. You know, I even came out here early. It's only 80 degrees. It's only 80 degrees. I'm not running max settings or nothing. But anyways, thank you guys very much for tuning in today for today's Copart walk around. I really appreciate it. I appreciate you guys coming through and showing me support. I really do. Uh, so thank you guys for coming through, and I will see you guys on the next one. Again, major shout out to our people over at Copart. <clears throat> now we can get our ass on down the road. Yeah, the truck has been a little dirty because I'm going down this road where they've teared up, teared, tore up all the uh, concrete down here. You can see just how low this thing gets. Hopefully I don't catch any damn pieces of metal or nothing in my damn tires. You hear that mama wake up, boy. I do like driving this thing off-road though. Oh, oh. Suspension is just nice and you know it gives. It's just I just like it. All right, now we out of here.